What's up YouTube? Bob here with Backcountry Daily. Today I finally, finally want to show you something that I did. I've accomplished. I finished my creative work area. Uh, it took a few months to build it. I don't know if you guys seen my video of me making the IKEA table video. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check that out. Hopefully you guys can get some ideas from this video. I built a budget backdrop that I'll show you guys here in a second. I also took care of my lighting. Uh, some creative lighting, a picture, a nice sturdy table, a place to do my leather crafting at. If you guys haven't seen that video, be sure to check that out. I built a knife sheath, a little leather tray that's over here, I'll show you in a second. So, today's video, uh, it's gonna be kind of like a, a rough, raw, vlog style video of this room, my creative area. I'm gonna show you the workbench, I'm gonna show you this table, some of the lens that I use, some of the photography gear, lighting gear, I'll go over some of the things that I bought, and some of the things that I would have done maybe differently, maybe, maybe not. Uh, but overall, I'm really happy. It's allowing me to be more creative, it's allowing me to be more focused, your environment is everything. I am a creature of my surroundings. My surroundings do affect me quite a bit and if you're like that, if you're uh, anything like me and you must have organized, well not so organized right now, but generally organized work area, it's clean, efficient, effective, uh, so you can be productive. Well, let's uh, swap this lens to an ultra wide and uh, take you guys for a little tour. Uh, I think for today's video we're gonna go with the Zeiss. It's 16 to 35. A good friend of mine made me my logo, my website, and everything. And I was supposed to make him a money clip like a year ago. <laughs> I feel terrible. I haven't made it still, so I'm gonna do that tonight. Um, it's gonna be something like this. Let's see. There's a little more light here. It's gonna be like this money clip. So I make these out of vegetable tan leather, all handmade, hand stitched. I dye it myself, do the edges and everything. So I'm gonna work on this tonight. Um, probably take you guys through on a quick little tour of my leather making of the money clip. I'm gonna start on it tonight. Not sure if I'll finish it, but let's um, let's talk about my, my creative area a little bit. Let me take the camera off the tripod and we're. I'll go, go from there. All right, first thing I want to show you guys is this um, this soft lighting box that I got on um, one of those lightning deals on Amazon. I thought it was super cheap and it's it's not gonna work that well. Actually, it's been wonderful. The only thing is the, these ship with like giant CFL bulbs that are like 95 watt or whatever. I believe they put out like th three or 4,000 lumens or something like that. But the problem is they're not dimmable. It's just way too bright. So what I ended up doing, if you go to Home Depot, you can get one of these uh, ultra bright LEDs, so 2600 lumens, and make sure that it's dimmable. Um, it should say it right there because most LEDs, i me show you guys. Yeah, make sure that it says dimmable. So if it's over 150 watts, usually they're not dimmable. This is usually as bright as you can get before uh, it stops being dimmable and defeats the whole purpose. Then you're gonna wanna pick up a dimmer like an inline dimmer, so you can plug whatever you want into it. I actually got two of them because the second one, and I got them different colors, the second one I used for this Edison bulb, and I picked that up at um, at Lowe's, and it's a vintage style, 40-watt um, Edison bulb. It's pretty big, like this thing is, is huge. I like it because it's like, you know, it's like a nice little decor, and if you, you know, dim this light, and increase that one, turn this one off, it becomes more like a nice mood light. And then I picked up a little triangle, wooden triangle, got that in there. Let's see. So that's my lighting and it's, it's super convenient. So I can basically have this dimmed all the way down or turned off or dim all the way up. The LED doesn't get hot, doesn't use up much uh, electricity and it, it puts out 5,500 um, Kelvin, which is a perfect daylight kind of output. It ends up working out really well. Another thing I did that I thought was pretty cool is I got this shelf from Loaves also, a little shelf mounts right there. And 
I, I turned it into like a little photography stand. So I keep my lenses up here, I keep my camera up here, some filters right there. So everything is like really accessible, easy to use, and my um, head units right here and everything. That works out really well, it keeps all my lenses protected from my dog and, and everybody else. Here I have my little charging station and you have USB-C at the bottom. Then you have five USBs ranging from one amp all the way to 2.4 amps. Um, here we have the uh, leather tray that I made. And this thing is really cool. I really like this tray. It keeps all my little like things like small items. Like these things that always get lost or like for the laptop, the little USB thing or SD cards and things like that. So that comes in handy. I have a little <laughs> pipe for just for decoration. Desk is a mess right now. I'm in the middle of a project, leather crafting and stuff. Oh, and then um, this thing is really cool too. I picked up a picture at Hobby Lobby. And if you guys are interested, or if you have a Hobby Lobby in your area, but everything's like 50% off, like 90% of the store is 50% off. So I picked that up for like, I don't know, 12 bucks or something like that. And it's a cool picture. It gives you that sense of uh, continuation in the depth. So when you're sitting at a desk, you just kind of look up and it gives you that sense of freedom, I guess. And yeah, uh, well, this brings us to our next thing is this giant backdrop. Let me, uh, let me go around the other side and I'll show it to you. Guys, Guys, for a while I've been wanting to make some kind of backdrop where I could just get inspired, come up to my desk, throw up a camera and just start vlogging or start talking about whatever idea. And with having all that mess in my room, uh, by the time I get done cleaning the room, I get a little demotivated and then, uh, or sometimes I'll lose track of things or I'll get distracted or I'll ask to do something for someone. There goes the video. So having an always ready backdrop that's inexpensive and it's customizable over there in the corner, I have some, um, I have some extra PVC pipes and this is basically how I did it is I went to Joanne's fabric I picked up black fabric that's got some a little bit of shine to it and that keeps like the hairs and everything from sticking to it and lint and stuff nothing sticks to it which is nice the only problem with this fabric though is that it's wrinkled right now um, I thought by maybe hanging it for a few days the wrinkles would go away but they did not so I'm gonna have to steam those out but for now it is what it is let me come around this way and I'll show you guys how I built it okay so I basically made a T so you, you get a T connector right there boom go up you have a, a leg here and a leg there this is one foot that's a two foot first I had two two feet legs and I was experimenting with that and that just didn't really work out that well because it was just getting in my way too much I cut it in half I may cut the other the back feet in half um, they haven't really been getting in my way as much well this thing is so big even the 16 millimeter lens can't even get it all in one one frame up at the top, whoa, almost just fell back on my ass. Up at the top, I used 90 degree connectors. Here in the center, I used another T for the crossbars. Oh, hi, dog. What are you doing? What's up, pups? What's up? She's all antsy, wants to go for a walk. I'm gonna take her in a minute. All right, so we got the little straight couplers there. So we got one straight coupler here, two here, nothing on the bottom. Everything that's on this side is obviously mirrored there. This is a four foot section. This is a three foot section. So you have seven feet width and six feet height. These are both three feet sections right here. A little bit over six feet height. Now I could disassemble it and have it assembled different in a different configuration where I can make it more narrow, where I can unplug these this section entirely and just make it only four feet wide. Um, or I can make it even taller if I want to do like a photo shoot. And this thing is super lightweight, very inexpensive. There's less than twenty dollars in PVC here. Um, there's there's these clips from Home Depot. Those are about a dollar each. So I got six of those clips. They're holding up the the uh, the cloth, and the cloth itself was like sixteen dollars at a uh, Joanne's Fabric on sale. So like thirty something bucks. This thing is done. If you try to go buy something like this, um, probably cost over a hundred bucks easily. May not be even the right size. But for a super wide angle lens, when I'm vlogging at my um, at my work area, I could easily easily um, have it 
where it it completely blacks out everything behind me even with a 16 millimeter lens so that that just tends to work out great and then as you guys can see all this mess here you don't want to see that in the background i mean i got my clothes down there i got some bags i got a bunch of leather here speaking of leather um i just picked up this uh really really good looking leather right here and uh, i got some more vegetable tan leathers so i'm gonna be making his money clip tonight using this stuff a really really good good leather and uh yeah that's about it guys let me uh go back to my table over there and i also <clears throat> got these leds um on amazon they were also on a lightning deal got two of them they're fully adjustable they get really bright and then they come with these like blue and red uh, inserts or whatever so all in all it works really well there's plenty of lighting here i i don't have them turned on right now but um I guess there was really no need for them to be on for this video i uh, usually just like this light this is a soft light it's amazing i mean i could control it it just works so well it could swivel it around it is also height adjustable and everything so, oh and um back there if you guys could see the the blue bulb um i have that in a fixture and then there's one over there in a, in a bathroom too and i and those are both remote controlled for my phone i could change them change the color the brightness uh set them on whatever setting i want those also help like set the mood lighting and everything for the channel and uh yeah that's about it i think that's all i have for you guys tonight um be sure to stay tuned for more videos right now i'm just gonna work on his leather thing and i'll take you guys along i'll probably end up making a different a separate video for that um but i hope you enjoyed this video i hope uh i was able to help some of you out that are having a hard time with setting up a budget creative area maybe you can get some ideas from my creative area and uh, kind of go from there but we'll see you guys on the next video thanks for watching hit that like and that sub button if you enjoyed this type of content we'll catch you on the next one take care